Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML and CSS interview question and answer series. Today's question that I've brought you is very interesting and it's often used to confuse the candidates in the interview, right? So if you have seen the previous question, it was about the pseudo elements. And today I'm asking you, what are pseudo classes? A lot of times uh, junior developers or people who are new to development often get confused with pseudo elements and pseudo classes. Make sure you have seen the previous episode. It's in the playlist below. Also, let's get started with today's question, which is what are pseudo classes? So pseudo class is nothing but it's used to define a special state of the element, right? So what do you mean by state? It's nothing but like uh, whenever some event has happened on a particular element, right? Now that can be like a visited or a link or hover, etc. So that is called as a pseudo class, right? Whereas pseudo element is referred with double colon, right? Whereas pseudo classes are represented with a single colon. Remember that's the difference between pseudo elements and pseudo classes. Let me show you with an example. So if you see in the one of the examples previously we have done pseudo element, it takes two colons, right? That means it's a pseudo element. Now I'm going to show you pseudo class. So let's say you have a paragraph. This is pseudo class, right? Or I can use some different element for you to, right? So I have you, I'm using an anchor tag now. So now let's say I'll give a, and we'll go to our style and see now I can write single colon, right? It's not double colon. Now it's just single colon followed by the class. Now you see here, it gives you options, right? So I can say visited, right? Visited, or I can also implement link. I can also implement uh, hover, right? So wherever you see some class with single colon, that means that's a pseudo class. Okay. Don't get confused. Wherever you see double colon, it means it is pseudo element. Okay. So make sure you get this absolutely right. Because like I said, this is one of the frequently asked question to confuse the uh, candidate. I have done it personally many times. So I can tell you with confidence, a lot of interviewers will ask you and these questions can only be answered by developers who have really worked on it, right? So this is to check your working knowledge, right? Whether you are really hands on developer or you're just faking your experience. So make sure that you get it right. The difference between pseudo elements and pseudo classes. If you have any doubts, drop me your comments. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more such interesting questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.